Hello artists, how are you today? Stephanie Ondi coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California. Oz and I welcome you to the studio. This is a fall doodle ATC. It is. I took a little bit more time on it uh, because it would be something that is going to be um, given away. Now, uh, the ATC Exchange is going on over at the Messy Hand Band of Artists. Um, we are currently in the sign-up stage. Sign-up lasts until September 25th, um, 2019. So, um, if you are interested in joining in the exchange, please join us over at the Messy Hand Band of Artists group on Facebook. It, the links are down in the comments. Uh, ATC means artist trading cards. It is a two and a half inch by three and a half inch square, and that's about the only rules to it. Our guidelines are fall doodles. So this is a little bit of a doodle on steroids, uh, but I want to make sure that it's extra special. This uh, exchange, I will not be exchanging with everybody. I will be exchanging with four people like everybody else. So there is a chance that you could get a piece of my artwork. You are always welcome to send me uh, an ATC outside of your four people. And if that happens, then I will um, open them on air once again. I love doing that. It's really a fun way to um, show all of the artwork that all of you amazing artists are creating. So happy you guys are with me. Um, so please just be patient again about the video uploads. I'm doing the best I can. Um, just hit that little alarm bell by the subscribe button and that alarm bell will notify you when videos are available. Wi-Fi is being a pooper and so I have to go and fix that hopefully now before I get started on anything else and either my computer has updates or the Wi-Fi has updates. I'm hoping that's what the issue is. Fun times! Well, I'm going to try to get this edited and uh, we'll chat soon. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Okay, let's try this again. I've already done one a couple times. Worked on it a couple times. Haven't had much luck. So we're going to try once again. Um, you know, if at first it doesn't go the way you want it to go, you try it again. And that's just what we have to do in this art world of ours. Sometimes we don't get it on the first try. That's okay. Don't take it as being a failure. Take it as, okay, that was a little frustrating, um, but don't give up. We're gonna try something new and different here. So, ooh, that, whatever's happening right there already, I love that. Let's see here. Let's pull just a little bit of darker red right in this back part here. All right, and then I'm gonna pull in some of this blue up in here. Actually, I'm gonna pull in this greeny blue here, my favorite. And down in here. So this is a wet on wet technique. You saw me wet the paper first. All right, uh, I want to put a little bit of a dark line right in there in the center. And I want to bring this and do I want that like that? I think I do want that like that. All right, I think I'm actually going to get the dryer out and uh, see if I can't give this a little... Of course, this is a heat gun. This is my industrial heat gun, not a dryer, so hold on. 
All right, now let's check and see where we're at here. I didn't super dry it, I just had to get some of that water out of it to be able to come back in and do our edging here. And we are really letting the paint dictate the shape of our leaf. Hopefully you guys are in view there. I can't even see you because I have you so close to my work table. Um, as you may have noticed, this is the two and a half by three and a half inch size, uh, which means this is my first fall ATC. So I will be doing four along with you guys. So, um, you know, uh, just, uh, know that four of you will be getting these ATCs. And, um, you know, I just can't trade with everybody this time. Now, you guys are not required to send me one uh, because I won't be trading with all of you. So, um, if you would like to send me one, I think that that would be really cool and that would make me very happy and I will um, try to open them all on air once again because um, I think that that's really fun and I love seeing everybody's work. Uh, last time it didn't work out quite as well as what I'd hoped for because I had such a bad internet connection at that time that the last uh, reveal didn't show up as well as some of the others had. Pulling in some of these darker reds. Where our shadows are gonna be. Just kind of blending in those colors a little bit. I'm not really choosing any specific type of leaf here, uh, which I probably should be choosing some specific type of leaf, but um, just kind of making it up in my brain and letting the water dictate where it wants to be. where it wants to go. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I think you get the essence of what it is. Just very simply, just like that. I think it's super cool. I do, I think it's cool. Um, we're gonna pull in a little bit of darker color underneath of here. It's probably a little too dark. Add a little bit of water to that. And here's where you can really get some fine detail. And also some blending. So, you know, it's um, that's cool. And of course, you get all that with the amount of liquid that you have in the brush and in the paint. The less liquid, the more control. In the more detail.
Now, this blue could be indica uh, an indicator of it floating on water, or it could be it against the sky. I'm actually going to make that have a little bit more detail to it there. This is this is where we decide what our leaf is going to look like. Oh, we just made it into an elm leaf, didn't we? So I'm using thick paint here. That's how I'm able to get this detail like this. pretty spectacular. Let's pull in a little bit more right in here. Remember to move your artwork to where it is convenient for you to work on it. poked my eye. Oh god. Okay. So I think I'm just gonna let that dry for a second and I'm actually gonna go grab an elm leaf because I have one out in the yard and I want to kind of see how the veining goes and see how close I got to it. So Oz and I are gonna go outside for a second and we will be right back. All right bye. All right so let's uh, look here. We're going to take this all as that top part there.
All right, everybody. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do, well, I honestly just kind of um, went around and fine-tuned the um, blue watercolor here. So it's a little bit wet still. And I did just want to do a little drawing around the leaf just to give it a little bit more definition. I wonder what in the world that sound is. It sounds like a lawnmower, which is not a common sound that you hear out here in the country. My door is open, so. Now this is by no means an exact replication of this beautiful leaf, but it is definitely a wonderful feeling of it. You know, I don't know if these leaves actually turn this beautiful red and orange, but uh, it'd be nice if they did, wouldn't it? Okay, let's see if I can get this to, does it work here? Can I get it to work in the capacity that I want it to work? Well, I can do dots. Okay. How about, how about, how about, how about liquid pearls? Now these you can get really nice fine lines with. See? Let's try that. That center line is very much so very definite. Come on. Lovely. All right, and this branch is off here. As does this. I'm going to put one more line here. Just making it a little bit thicker there. All right, so this one splits off. I like that. It still has its one main one. And it's going to split off here. And we're going to have it split off here. These splits on this particular type of leaf do not um, um, even up, uh, meaning they're offset. Ugh, my words are not working. Sorry, guys. It's morning. It's really not early morning, but um, I was, had to take a lot of work to get me awake this morning. Let me tell you, I did not want to get up at all.
Oh, is he right here? Oz? Ozzy! Good boy, good boy.